Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the video for Tower Fantasy. My name is Vinicius SGA. What's good with you? All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you with what I believe to be my best budget ice DPS build using Frig and Meryl. Uh, if you are new here, do me a huge favor and subscribe to the channel for Tower of Fantasy. I am super duper close to 28k subs. People have been subbing like crazy, and I'm almost there. So if you could throw me a sub, show me some support on the channel, I'd really appreciate it. And also, turn notifications on if you like Tower of Fantasy, because that's pretty much all I do on this channel for right now because I am so in love with the game. All right, uh, so with all that, let's get right into this build. So taking a look at my weapons, I've got Meryl at three stars. It's level 120. I've got Frig at no stars, and it's at level 120. And then the other backup weapon I'm going to use is just going to be King with Scythe Crows for extra DPS damage. Because if you don't have another damage weapon on here, you're not going to get this attack setting buff. Um, so you definitely got to have another attack weapon. And a lot of the times in these operations and game modes, if you use a weapon like Claudia, it's just you're going to get negated on damage. I just see it more often than not. So uh, you never can go wrong with having having King Scythe of the Crows on there. All right, so when it comes to weapon chip matrices, let's just go ahead and start with King and get him out of the way. I go with the Robarg chip set. It's called Devour the three preset. When a target is shattered, poison the target and deal damage equal to 45% of attack every second for 10 seconds. The attack on my King Scythe of the Crows right now if you go over to Wanderer Info, uh, my flame attack is at 7,505. So 45, almost half of that damage um, is going to be every second whenever I shatter a target, whenever I use uh, King to do that. So that's going to be huge there. That's a lot of, that's just going to be a lot of damage right there. King is definitely just one of the more fun weapons to use. And I definitely suggest using him as much as possible when trying to deal damage. Even when he's like negated in these uh, other game modes, he still puts out a lot of damage. I have my King at three stars and it's just one of the most amazing weapons in the game in my opinion and next up is frig and it's going to be nothing new here i'm just going to use the pepper chip set non-stop the three-piece set increased speed of obtaining weapon charge by 15 percent for me because i have this weapon chip maxed out um and this weapon it's just it's just a great for uh, getting weapon charge because you can use the skill and then use the discharge skill over and over again inside the aoe that's put down and it's just the fastest for getting weapon charge and it's really good for attacking groups enemies so if i probably wasn't using the pepper chip set for this if i really just want to go after damage in groups of enemies which is probably what you should want to do anyway um i would use the sobek chipset with the freak especially when attacking group of enemies but i like to use freak for my weapon charge so i can actually deal the most damage with meryl and here is my meryl now i've got a hybrid chipset on my meryl because i don't exactly have four uh king chips or four huma chips very hard to get these ssr chips um so the two-piece set that i go with here on king two-piece set it says when a target is shattered grant eight percent damage boost for 25 seconds only the highest level effect is applied when obtained repeatedly all right so that is actually really really good you get an eight percent damage boost whenever you shatter a target so um i like having a shattering sort of chip on both of my weapons that i'm going to go for shadow with so it doesn't matter which one when I actually do the shattering, I'm going to get some sort of buff. Some people might say that's wrong. I think that's a win in my column because if I shatter with Meryl, I get a buff. If I shatter with King, I'm going to get a buff. The uh, two-piece set with Huma, I love this one. It's uh, called Slightly Awakened. Hitting targets with dodge skills inflicts bleed, dealing damage equal to 15% of attack every second for five seconds and i love dealing bleed damage and i love using meryl's dodge skills that's the only reason why i have the human chip set on meryl is because i like doing dodge skills with meryl now the attack my frost attack is going to be 6965 you can see it signified there so not as high as my flame damage probably would swap those around in another build but because i want to deal the most damage with meryl that's the way i go now to be sure this is a budget build because you know the game is really difficult on us free to players on giving us these ssr mattresses but if i did have it ever the way that i wanted it to go i would definitely use a four piece of meryl's own chip set the two piece set if hp is less than 30 percent after being attacked gain a shield equal to 20 percent of max hp for 10 seconds cool to 90 seconds that is a great great 
two piece uh, set bonus but the four piece set that's where it really shines at and I can't wait till I can able to craft this four piece set for Meryl it says increase whirlwind damage by 36% and restore HP equal to 30% of damage dealt while whirlwind is active the maximum HP restored every 0.5 seconds cannot exceed 60% of attack so this four piece set if you can get it for Meryl it's going to be the absolute best thing for Meryl and when it comes to relics, um, the relic that I'm using right now currently is going to be the hologram projector because you get to do damage uh, again. It's just going to be slightly reduced damage. We'll take a look at the hologram projector. Uh, project a hologram of the user that synchronously replaced the Wanderer's weapon attacks, dealing 35% of the Wanderer's damage dealt lasts for 15 seconds, 180 second cooldown. That's a really big cooldown, but that extra damage is certainly worth it. I have it activated at one star. Yeah, extend duration to 20 seconds. So that's actually huge 20 seconds of a shadow clone of me essentially doing extra damage now If I wasn't using hologram projector, I would 100% be using confinement um, Create an area of confinement with a radius of 7 meters for 10 seconds energy pulses within the area dealing elemental damage equal to 73.4% of attack every second based on the current weapons element targets that touch the edge of the area are afflicted with a two-second stun effect 240 second cooldown really long cooldown down but that is actually really really good to do extra damage also i would be using space time rift launch a proton bomb at the target location creating a collapse in time space that sucks targets in for 10 seconds after 1.5 seconds the center of the collapse deals damage equal to 39.6 percent of attack to targets caught in the area every 0.5 seconds with 100 second cooldown and then for certainty the uh definite staple for any DPS to deal extra damage is just going to be this, the missile barrage. Uh, and I have this thing almost maxed out. It says, uh, place a missile launcher behind user for eight seconds, fire multiple missiles at nearby enemies, dealing damage equal to 34%, uh, 34.8% of attack with each strike. Cooldown 60 seconds. I have this thing like activated, uh, first star, fire more missiles every second, increase missile barrage damage by 20%. Uh, missile barrage lasts for 12 seconds and then increased physical damage by 1.5 percent even if not deployed and that's not going to be available in apex lead and then in the fifth star i don't have that yet it says launch more missiles after every second so uh definitely try those options out when doing dps so i'm going to start off with king get that nice aoe attack off and then go right into frig and then i'm going to try to get weapon charge up as fast as possible so i can then break this things down with either king or meryl I guess I can like pick and choose which one I want to use. I love having that option. Let's just go ahead and use Meryl, see what the damage is going to be. Uh, I didn't get to see the damage, but I think it was like 30,000. And just this little spin attack, so OD. I love doing that spin attack so much. All right, so let's gather all of them. I have my uh, hologram projector ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop that right now. And then I'm going to hit the skill of Meryl and just go and see extra damage just pop up just damaging everything over and over again and then let's uh back up and i'm gonna hit frig so i can attack everything in this area at once is my little aoe attack and looks like i have discharge ready to go right now so with this i go ahead and use meryl to attack everything in this area and then yeah yeah they're just destroyed and i think something got shattered so they should be taking yeah nothing got i don't have any actually uh hold on all right here we go Let's shatter this thing's shields really quickly. Yeah, and that's it. So just destroy everything in this area with fire. I love using King's ability for this. I can't wait till one day when I get a... A weapon that lets me get fire resonance. But for right now, I'll just have to deal with frost resonance which is still pretty good. Somebody asked me one day in a stream, they said, what's my favorite weapon type? I said, uh, right now it's ice because I love all the ice animations. I think ice has the coolest animations for attacks right now. All right, let's just clear everything out of this area really quick using King. That nice damage over time AOE. That is so good. Like the idea behind that, a DOT AOE that just does incredible damage. And which hopefully I'll be able to wipe him before he's able to do anything super crazy. All right, so let's switch to Frig and get some charge. Oh, good, we triggered Fantasia. All right, so we're going to hit Meryl first on this thing. And it looks like we have another one ready to go. So right after Meryl, we're going to go straight into King. 
And I don't think he has any shields right now, so we might be... Oh, there he goes. There's a shield. So let's go ahead and try our best to break those shields. King is probably going to be one of the best shield breakers in the game. Not going to lie. I mean, Meryl is good for it too, but King is probably just, hands down, probably the best. Look at that. His shield is just destroyed. All right. All right, so let's stay on top of these things. Because I don't want to get hit with his electric currents while he's up there. And I'm not using any heals on this, too. So that's uh, that's kind of tricky. It's kind of dangerous when you try to go to these things without heals. But right now, I don't think you can really do like a, an ice DPS build um, with the resonance with heals. Because you won't get that extra DPS attack. All right, let's go back to Frig. Okay, he's running away. Okay, looks like I'm ready to go with Mira. Let's just do this. Put him inside the ice barrier so he can't go nowhere and just take massive damage off him. Yeah, look at the uh, shatter on Mero. It's actually not bad. It's actually not bad. Let's do the skill. The skill should actually take the rest of the shield. And he's broken, which should have happened the last time. Can get a little bit of a stun effect. All right, let's switch over to King and finish this off. Now, I would show you this build in a joint operation, but specifically the day that I decided to do this build, uh, the space-time training ground, it resists 50 frost, 50 flame. I went in there a couple times trying to, like, just do it anyway to see if I can keep up and get second damage or maybe even first damage, but people are sweating their balls off for damage. Even in difficulty level 7, I felt like going in 6 would be kind of like, you know, he, you're going in 6, bud. You're going to get top damage anyway. Uh, so, I tried to go in there 7. People are just, you know, just sweating really hard for damage. So, another day, maybe today or uh, tomorrow or the next day, I'll be able to show you this build, so definitely check back with the channel so you can see um, the damage in a competitive setting against other people using this build because it's actually really, really insane with that Frost Resonance. All right, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, if it was able to help you, show you something new, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, turn those notifications on. Like I said, I am super close to 28K subs, and I really appreciate it if you'd help me get there. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about this or anything else Tower Fantasy related, definitely let me know down in the comments. And while you're down there, if you have Cobalt, let me know how she is. I spent 20 Red Nucleus that I had saved up because I'm free to play right now, and I did not get her. I'm super bummed over that. So I got to wait till I get paid again and maybe I can get Cobalt and I can make a video on Cobalt. But let me know what you think about Cobalt and are you ready for the new Vera update? What do you uh, expect from it? What do you think it's going to be like? You know, what are just your expectations of the new update? I hope they have a lot of new areas to explore, a lot of uh, ways to get uh, those red nucleus, uh, gold nucleus, so I can get more and more characters and get my characters even stronger. All right, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Uh, I'll check you next time. Peace out.